Okay, so that works. So um, now I'd like to add a little bit of snow, so I'll, or a little bit of text, so I'll add a, a text layer here. Let's just call it uh, text. And then I'm going to say in this text layer, I'm going to say happy holidays. So I'll just do it on the first frame, and then I'll adjust the exposure on it afterwards. So let's put uh, maybe a new color here. Let's do it in red. And uh, let's say happy holidays. Holidays. And then I realized my red is semi-transparent, so let's bring the alpha back up. And I can select all of that text there from my text layer. And I'll make the text bigger. And let's move it sort of down so it's in the center. I think I want to add an exclamation point on this text. So I can, since it's still a text object, I can go in there with my text tool and I can add an exclamation point in there. And then I can also adjust what, um, you know, like what font I'm using here. And then um, just scroll through until I find one that I like. I like this one. So let's stick with that one. And then I can also um, just make it a little bit bigger. Now that it's kind of a curly font, then I can just make it a bit bigger to make it easier to read. And you can also use your select tool to do that. Happy holidays. OK, then um, now what I'd like to do is I'd like to make this text appear over time. So I'm just going to extend the exposure of the entire thing. OK, so first, before I actually make the text look exactly, or before I animate my text, I'm going to make it look exactly the way I want it to look. So first I'm going to go to Drawing, Convert, Break Apart Text Layers because I'd like these to be moved around in space a little bit. And I'll do it a second time because I'm also going to adjust the text like a drawing object. So first I can get this on a bit of a curve by putting the um, the end the end ones down a little bit and rotate them outwards and I'm just eyeballing this but you can also give yourself a guideline like let's just show you how to do that too just for fun so um, I'll take this one and I'll make it like a easy to see blue color and then I can draw my line and hold down shift to keep it um, so that the end points are planted and then I can go in the center there and arc it up and then I'm just gonna line up the text with those with that guideline so in fact it was a good idea to do the guideline because my um, my exclamation point on the end there is not exactly where it needs to be and then I'll also rotate these guys out as I go And I kind of like doing this by hand because it gives it a bit more variation and doesn't make it look so completely, you know, computer generated. When you do it by hand, it makes it look a little bit more natural. There we go. Happy holidays. Um, let's just move that Y a bit further down. Okay. So now I've got my text laid out exactly the way I want it to be. I can get rid of my guideline there. And now I can animate the text coming in. So to animate the text coming in, first I extended the exposure throughout the whole thing. And then let's say I'm going to have it pretty much stationary on there for the last um, second or two. So let's just make that in from, from 120 on. And so in order to um, keep the drawing where it is, I'm going to go to Windows Toolbars, Timeline View, and I'll, every time I want to change the drawing, I'm going to duplicate the drawing. So I'll duplicate the drawing on frame 120, and then I'll go in the previous drawing, and I'll remove something. So now on this one, I'm going to remove the exclamation point on the end. And then I'll go every, let's say every 10 frames. I can always adjust it afterwards. And make sure you duplicate um, and not uh, 
and not uh, create a new drawing. So every 10 frames, now I'll go on the previous one and I'll remove my S. And then I'll duplicate and so on and so forth. Just make sure I haven't done anything wrong so far. Yep, so, so far it's working pretty well. Let's keep going. So I got my D. Now I've got my text appearing over time. So let's just play through this and see how it looks. go. Now if you want to add a background behind that um, then you can add a new drawing layer and um, I'm just going to make a really big rectangle behind everything. I can use my guide color here because I haven't really used it for anything. And um, I'll go along with the theme of having a gradient here so I'll just make it, you know, when it's snowing outside it's kind of a lighter sky color so Let's do something like that, but I'll adjust my gradient so that it is wider, closer in my frame. And I'll make this go behind everything. And also, because I do have some 3D space here, I do need to make sure that I use my Maintain Size tool to reposition it behind everything. And then I also need to turn that drawing on for the entire length of my timeline, so I actually positioned it there on the last frame. So I'm just going to move that drawing to my first frame. And I can extend the exposure to F5. And the very last thing I want to do here is I decided I kind of want to add a camera move on this just to make it even more fun. Um, so in order to add a camera here, I'm just going to click on the plus sign in the camera and then I'll select my camera and I'll add a peg to that to animate the camera. So maybe I can start in nice and close like I am here, hit F F6 to create a keyframe. I'll create a keyframe a little bit later and then I'll zoom out, zoom out there so that I see the scene from a bit further away. So I'm in there, I'm watching him dance, and then I'm going to zoom out while the text is saying Happy Holidays. But I want that hot Happy Holidays text to kind of be stuck to my camera. So if I want the camera or the text to be stuck to my camera, then I'll basically want the text to animate with the camera. So I'll drag and drop my text layer to be a child of the same camera peg. And now if I do that, as I play through this thing, See how the text is staying with the camera. There we go. Happy holidays. And uh, the last thing I'll do there is I'll just adjust that color since I don't really like it too much after all. I do want a light color, but maybe more of a maybe more of that kind of a light color blue. And then I'll make the other color very much a, a white. And if you like, you can also add some music. So that's another fun thing to do. Make it a bit darker so that I can see the snow on top of it a little bit better. And I can also adjust my gradient because I think my gradient's a little bit too big there. So I'll go back to my sky layer and I'll adjust the gradient. So when you're done with your greeting card and you're pleased with the way that it looks, then you can just export it out as, um, as a QuickTime movie and then you can upload it to something like YouTube and share it with your friends or post it to your Facebook wall. So I hope you guys enjoyed that different kind of a tip that we did this week. Um, if you want to, you can also go in there on that text and you can draw a little bit of snow on top of the letters just to make it even more fun. Um, now that the text is a drawing object, you can go in there and you can draw directly on top of it. I um, hope you guys like that tip this week, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.